So hey, good morning guys, it's Mike with Mike and Kate. So we're doing a little bit of a behind the scenes today, just so you know what we're doing during a wedding day. So I'm working with Kate and Kate is already inside the house of our bride. Um, I'm just setting up stuff, so why don't you come in here and I'm just gonna show you what we're doing before we start shooting in the day. So here we go. So the very first thing that we do uh, at the very first hour of the day is to set up the time code for videography. So um, yeah, time code. So what that enables us to do is um, basically uh, put some time step in our cameras in our audio gear um, just so we can sync them up all in post uh, fast and easy so i use this once i have six of them uh, one is with our bts guy right now uh, dave he's helping us out with uh, this uh, bts so i have uh, four camera bodies with me here today but i won't be using it for the prep i'm gonna use them later on at the uh, Recep oh sorry ceremony so I'll just set them up and then we'll shoot some establishers and generally what I like to put on my uh, ACAM is a 2470 or a 12 to 35 with Lumix because I use Lumix bodies here so that An ND filter because it's bright outside And the other thing is that I use a GH5S. I have three of them. And with its native uh, ISO, which is at 800, it's gonna be really sensitive to light. So, ND filter is clutch. So in the morning, I would normally set up two camera bodies. Oh, not this one. I will use the regular GH5 and uh, I would put a 50 millimeter on it because we're shooting in our bride's home I think 50 millimeter should be good oh I did that by the way because if you want to clean out the dust from it you want to point it down so the dust won't fly inside it it will just fall off like that it'll be blown out downwards so pro tip right there and that's it we're ready to shoot so let's go inside you start with your establishers of course don't forget to give a little bit of a context as to where things are happening you know and of course you're describing the atmosphere like what i always say to my colleagues here uh, and when you describe the atmosphere of a place it's about how the day looks if it's windy you can shoot some of the leaves um, rustling around if it's cloudy it's good to get a time lapse maybe and uh, the other thing is that if it's like fall season you gotta capture some elements of fall as well like yellowing leaves uh, or leaves falling stuff like that so you gotta keep things in mind that's how you paint the picture of the day once we get in we do detail shots um, so this is the one that we're shooting right here so it's going to be the rings, the accessories, the jewelries and everything. Uh, shoes, the veil, the dress. The dress we will do downstairs. So for the setup, um, you have to have a tripod. And to get the best quality, um, you have to use a macro. So you get, uh, you get to punch in into those details and just showcase that basically. So In weddings, you usually don't have a lot of time. So just do the best that you can at any given point and when you're solo shooting just like me just keep it simple get a few angles just so you have options in post okay keep it steady just keeping it simple here oh by the way when you're done shooting your details make sure you put them back where you got them uh, it's just to be respectful with uh, with the client especially that we're shooting in their house so we have to respect the space whatever's in here if you moved anything in the house you have to disarrange it for a particular type of shot make sure that at the end of that shot you put everything back where you got them so the other thing is that we have to get audio for the bride 
and it's awkward for me to put it on especially she's on her thin very thin robes so the photographer who's a female will have to do it for us and it happens to be my wife so you're gonna do it for me right don't say no thank you <laughs> so legs yeah where else do you put it so inalaki ko to para may audio ka when you're doing the makeup and while you're talking to your family. So tita tingin din mama mo. Huwag ka mag-alala. Mom! Yes. Um, tanggalin ko yung sticky report. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Yes. And this one, I will just stop this here. So perfect. Yes. Para hindi sa sabi tabo ng walk. So enjoy ko. Narinig yung minsan kung yung naliligo. Yung ganda pa ba ano? Minsan lang naliligo. Yung yung secret. Oh, oh. Para hindi mo siya na nasa shadow. Oh yes. Hindi na pigilan na yung dar. Na kanina niya pag gusto sabihin niyo. Baka sabihin niya yun para sa wedding niyo. Dar na. So now we're gonna shoot the dress, and then after that we're gonna head over to Carlo, uh, our groom, and uh, do the same thing that we're doing here. So let's go downstairs. So this thing is white, obviously, and you have to put it in a background where it's a little dark so the colors or you know the whole thing will just pop out. So I decided to put it here against a strong brown color background, which is this barn door, and it's pretty. So let's try this. The wedding dress with people and the shot. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm just looking for a spot where I can put it dead center in my frame, but... Oh, maybe there is okay. Can I borrow that spot for the wedding dress? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So for this particular one, I like to include a lot of the environment because the house is just decorated so nice that I feel like I'm missing out if I don't do some interior shots. So. Hello! So we're gonna shoot some details of the groom uh, with him getting ready and stuff and we're gonna mic him up and we're gonna get this um, attached to him. I'll show you how it how it's done or how we do it at least. Hello, good morning! Good morning. Mike and Kate and Dave here. <laughs> oh my goodness, the place is lovely. So before we start um, can I put this on you, bro? So, I'll mic you up just so we have something on you in case... Oh, go ahead, you can answer that. <coughs> so if you look around the place, it's really nice and pretty much well lit. Uh, it's just easier to think creatively when you have a really nice place to shoot. So, Where's your coat and your anapag? Accessories and everything. Uh, but do you have a tie? Uh, bow tie. Bow tie, okay. Bow tie is good. Okay, so she'll start with that. We'll, we'll mic you up first. Do you have a coat? Or You're not vest. gonna wear a coat or vest. Ang vest, wala vest. Uh, you don't have to wear it now. So I'm just asking so I know where to put this. Um, okay, let's go over here. But, uh, so we're not in the way. So. I'm gonna tuck this in here. Okay, so at some point, if you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'll need you to unbutton a few of those. Like maybe. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, insert that in the. Just so if you have like dialogue and stuff, mm -hmm. we can hear you. Especially for the vows. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. For the whole day. Na siya. 
So. How do you feel, bro? Excited. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice long. <laughs> okay, you can do the buttons up for me. Can you uh, talk lang? Um, just say random stuff like say, Hello. just tell me what you had for breakfast. I'll just check your levels at the back. We have to ask him to talk a little bit just so we can check the levels and see if it's actually recording. Because if it's not, uh, if there's no signal detected by the recorder, it means um, it's either you haven't pressed record or um, you, there must be something wrong with the connection. So keep an eye out on that. Now we'll do the actual portrait shots. There's piano over there and stuff. It has a... That spot has a personality, so... And then later on, we'll take you out, siguro. We'll have you walking around the place. You see, the exterior is also looking good, eh? So, San, which place are we gonna do the, ano, dito? It's our performances later. Dances and everything here. So, this is the head table, I'm assuming? Okay. And then people everywhere. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe let's have you there first while she's doing that. So just to add, see this one here? We can move this a little bit. Here. Just for a while. Because green and brown screams rustic. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, so pogi shots lang muna tayo. So what you're basically gonna do is um, just look your manliest lang na well, serious siguro. You can serious. smile. Uh, um, now I know you're feeling a little tense. <laughs> but, you know, just kind of think about what's gonna happen later. Mm -hmm. uh, just visualize lang and uh, that we're here. Just pretend that we're not even here. Okay, so you can look up, look anywhere. Look down. Uh, fiddle with your hands there and your cuffs. Um, you can look left and right, just not directly to the camera. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to do that several times in multiple angles, bro. Eh? So. And then look out the window. And tur maybe turn your body towards the window a little more, yeah. Give your right leg a slight bend lang. Slight lang bend lang, yeah. So for, for video, we usually like to introduce motion to the shots, so we'll just hang in there. This is the shot right here. Oh no, you just have to... Wait, I'll show you, bro. Kita mo tong framing kong to. So you'll, you'll come from here, kukunin mo siya, you'll get this, uh, the, the top, and then I'll just demonstrate. So you're you're gonna grab this one, and you know where the light is. You see, you can see where the light is, right? So, and then from here, look over there. Start putting it on. Okay, set up the shot. And once the groom is ready, we'll give him the green light. So, if you're ready, and go for it. Now that we've done the wide shot, we're gonna get some close-up details. So, um, so this part, um, you can can you undo the thing again? Uh, put the put your coat back on here, and then uh, we'll do a close-up shot. So that was just a clean wide shot right there. So, so now we'll use the GH5 because it has a stabilizer in it. So, okay, same exact thing. You ready? Yeah. Um, si father na lang potolongan na lang siya. Um, so as soon as he goes there, um, and then he starts putting on the you know, the coat, maybe just assist him na lang. Yeah, um, we'll give you the cue, po. I'll, I'll give you the cue. So. Yeah, as soon as you get there, I'll cue uh, your father to approach you and help you. Okay, and three, two, one, go for it. Mm. 
and turn around, face each other. Uh, Dad, can you help him with the buttons, please? Yeah. yeah smile. You can smile on your wedding day, bro. <laughs> you can talk if you want. Dad, tanongin mo si Carlo kung kamusta tulog niya kagabi. O, oh, kamusta rin yung tulog mo? Mayroon na tulog eh. <laughs> Dad, tanongin niyo po siya kung anong nararamdaman niya ngayon. So, uh, what do you feel now? Wow, English! <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, thank you! <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you po. Ano po pangalan niyo pala, Dad? Paul. Paul po and si Mami? Arlene. 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 Nice to meet Mike po. Uh, Mike and Kate and Dave, so. So the thing that I like about this GH5 is that it has an IS lock setting. So, when you activate it, it almost looks like it's sitting on a tripod. It's so clutch. Grab a few shots of the family doing their stuff. We want to capture the smiles. It's, it's video, so you just gotta do what you're doing. So we're gonna do the what? The shoes and the and the watch in here. Okay. You know what? Let's let in some light. This is better, mm, much better. Are you comfortable with the door open though? Yeah? Okay. So simple things like that, just opening the door improves your lighting drastically. <laughs> and as a solo shooter, you want to make your footage look a lot more pro. You got to set up two camera angles. Okay. We are rolling on this one. I'm gonna grab my secondary angle <clears throat> and go for it. Yes. Mommy, you're blocking the shot right there. Oh, but you know what? Just take the shot that you need, yeah, Muna. And then I'll go. Yeah, yeah, I'll do next. Okay, and when you're ready, Carlo, go for it. And when you're done, you walk away. Okay, just walk away. Yeah, that's that's the thing. We need to sell it, you know. So. Okay, you know what? We'll, let's meet up later. Dun sa ano? See, I can't not have that. Well, I, I'll just move it later. Cause you'll be facing this way later sa aisle, right? So we'll just move this one on your side here. Mm. Just so it doesn't bulge. Or once you've put this on, you know what we, what we can do is may do you have an no, inside like jacket pocket? We can just put it in there later. The, the thing I'm worried about is that it may just bulge in here too. Is this tailor fit? Like, yeah. So that's the thing. It might bulge, but maybe on the side it would be the better one. Or even in your pocket, just like the way that I do. Because it's generally accepted to, you know what, it's acceptable to look like that because people assume that you have a phone in your pocket at all times. So, yeah. So easy to swap Okay, bruh. <laughs> You're up. What's your name again? Christian. Christian. Okay, Christian. Mike. Mike. <clears throat> Kate and Dave. I'm a little bit Christian, tanong mo naman kung ready na siya. Maybe just give him the good old fist bump there and the. Alright. <laughs> oh, don't answer that. That's a trick question. <laughs> Good job. 
this bro hug. Yeah. Yes. And Tita, when you're ready, po, approach and go for it, po. And we might have to do it one more time, po, na. Okay. So just, okay. <clears throat> I'll come closer, huh? And three, two, one. Approach, po, Tita Arlene. Give your son a hug, boy. Yeah. Hunting yeah. message. Just say I love you. I love you to each other, possible. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is. Here, my element dito ng ano, maraming ano, uh, leaves. Yeah, madamo, madahon. Dito na lang, bro. Um, just, just walk all the way, maybe to the third, third window, and then walk towards us lang. Just walk forward, towards that way, and you can look left and right and down. Check your time, fix your button here as you walk, mm -hmm. fix your cuffs as you walk, whatever you do, just don't look at their cameras, okay? So, I'll give you a cue. So again, that's just walking towards me, looking left, right, fix, fix, check the time, right or left, and no matter what you do, don't look at this or that, okay? Um, Okay, and you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. And we'll have to do this a couple more times. Okay, let's go back. So one for a wide establishing shot sort of thing and a close up to cut into. Okay, I'll need you to be a little more to this side now. Okay, and when you're ready, Go for it. You walk past me. That's it. That's it. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh. After the uh, creative shots, um, we'll maybe just put it inside your jacket pocket. Either there or in your uh, right pocket. No funds. Yeah. So it's up to you. Which whichever looks better, like as long as it's hidden, mm -hmm. tucked away, it's not bulging. That's the better spot. So actually here is not too bad. Because mm -hmm. if your arms are like this all the time, it won't be seen. Uh, it's hidden away. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. You can just Yeah, leave it there. So yung options mo is here, here, or in on either of these. But if you're, yeah, yeah. But if you have to put it in your, ano, uh, pocket, just put it on the right side. But uh, later on, um, it's not gonna be seen dun sa, sa church. Yes. Yeah, you can. Actually, it doesn't really matter dun sa. Are you talking about dun sa well? So you can either go to the right or to the left. It's it doesn't really matter. As long as you go to the right side of the altar <laughs> when you reach the altar. So, yeah. I think, anyway, um, last minute instructions will be given by the ano, um, in house church coordinator. Or Leanne herself will give you the instructions. So, yeah, that should be it. Okay. Uh, sige, bro. We're gonna go to Isabella na. And while you're waiting, Siguro, make sure you eat something. Yeah. Eat, hydrate. All right, we'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. Guys, uh, Nice outfit, by the way. Yeah. So if you wanna point your camera there, so there's a big mirror. So just be careful you're not caught in the reflection for your shot. So in these times where the photographer takes the lead. 
We'll just shadow. Magsiselos na yung camera ko, Isa. Oh. Tingin ka na. <laughs> Sa kanya naman, no? Sige. Yeah, so. Ngayon, just look at your, ano, your ring naman. Try to look at your ring. And then sandal ulit sa chair. Let's do that one more time. And I like how you did that so slowly. And maybe let's put this on your lap. Para makover, para makover na rin yung ano. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Tapos, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Bring it in front of you to your next time we come in and then just fix it. Look outside and to the flowers again. Maybe smell it a little bit. Just barely, yeah. Smiles. Okay. Like that. And then Sandal's a chair. Okay. Let's grab another angle here. So we have two cameras set up. The other one is shooting wide. And this one, this is supplementary angle. Okay. So we're still doing burst of 10 second shots, 5 seconds. And when there's dialogue, uh, we make sure that we record um, from start to finish of that particular topic. And then we move on. So, so now they're gonna put the dress on. Na we'll just ask Kate to put it on properly. So just remind her that she should put it in a particular spot. Just so we got, get good audio. So. Oh. No, let's do the bridesmaids so they can uh, dress up right after. Para we can shoot them with their dresses on together with the bride. So yung parents, um, tago muna? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is clutch because I don't have to worry about a crew or a team member checking their phones when they can't, especially when they're bu busy shooting. And at least with this one, you can just say something that you want them to do or if we are needed in the scene. Um, this is very handy, especially in the church uh, where you can't really expect someone to be in their phone at all times because once we start shooting inside the church for the ceremony, um, most likely they'll be like this, eyes on the camera all the time. So um, with our setup, by the way, uh, I'll take you to the car and I'll show you some of my gear. So yeah, uh, so for you gearheads out there, um, we shoot on GH5s. Um, I'm holding a GH5 right now, just the regular GH5, not the Mark II, not the GH5S uh, for the prep shots, just because the stabilization in this thing is so good that um, I can just do handheld all the time. Um, there are times that I still use my monopod, which is over here, but today um, I just don't find the need for it because it's just stable enough for me. And I'm not even using a stabilized lens. And speaking of lens, I have the 50 on. It's my uh, it's the Olympus 25mm 1.2. Um, I find that this gets used a lot of times for the prep. And over here, I have a bunch of extra lenses. So the one that I used for macro uh, shots for the details is this one. It's the Olympus uh, 60 millimeter 2.8 macro. Very good for rings, but that's pretty much the only use case for this one, uh, for the detail shots. And <clears throat> for the ceremony, I use the 75 millimeter uh, 1.8 from Olympus as well. All my lenses are Olympus. Um, just because they're weather sealed, they're built like a tank. And I like how they feel on the hand and the focusing, which um, this one, the Pro uh, series, they have a manual focus clutch. And when you pull it back, it turns into a true manual focus lens. Um, and for the GH5 SS, I have three of them. This will be my ceramic cams. Um, I uh, put them on tripods and uh, I just put them on two uh, sides, which I will show you again later when, once we get to the ceremony. So. Um, yeah, I bring a bunch of batteries so I don't ever have to charge on site because finding a power outlet could be tricky at times, um, especially in receptions when it's your first time to shoot there. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of my time looking for a power outlet. Now for audio, 
I'll probably just explain that later. Um, we'll just do some shots with the bride now because um, Kate just radioed me that they're ready for some of the formal shots with the bridesmaid. So, okay, and she just said the bride is ready, so we gotta move back in there. <clears throat> so we're doing a first look of the bride and the parents. And Isa, approach. You can smile, it's okay. You guys can hug, you guys can talk. <laughs> so weddings are emotional day, so make sure you capture those emotions. That's gonna bring life to your edit. So, so now it's time for the bridesmaids uh, first look. So we're gonna position them by the window over here. And Isa, our bride, will approach from the side. Isa, you ready? Okay, please approach. Okay, just uh, just do it. Yeah. Tap one of them. Maybe ladies tell her how she looks and just uh, how is her dress. Can you just do one group hug, please? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, and grab some IGBTS for the page. Huh? <clears throat> no, she can just hide from here. Is, is there the microphone on the right side? Oh yeah, Okay, just want to make sure. So yeah, we want to make sure that the audio, the microphone is always on the right side because, like I said, all you'll hear is the heartbeat. Um, at first, I thought it was just a joke, but... I did hear it when, when I put it on the left, so always on. Pride is always right. That's that's my phrase there for that. Right, I know. It's like a princess ball, but like it's like and everyone like it's something with ladies maybe move in closer to her. I don't bite we'll sit there You don't bite anymore. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna review the timeline here real quick. So we're we're a little bit behind, but that's that's normal for weddings. And it's okay. And next, we're behind. We should be on our lunch now. And then dun na tayo kay groom. Um, we'll go to the hayloft back again with the groomsmen. As the groomsmen will go there, we'll take portrait shots of the groomsmen there, and then we'll head to Kiwanis. So hayloft pa. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Okay. So we'll, yeah, we'll uh, head over to the ano, sa hayloft for the pictures, and then so. Around 1 o'clock pa naman eh. Let, let, let me just double check here. Yeah, 1. Uh, maybe just be there a little earlier. 12.45? Uh, 12.45-ish. Kasi you'll still have to find a uh, parking spot and that could be tricky at this time. So we're just gonna do a quick groom, uh, groom, uh, groomsmen shots. And then we'll head over to Kiwanis Park for uh, first stop. So. <laughs> so, 
So what you're gonna do is to just uh, do the cheers again, like yes, cheers, yes, and then babanyo let put it down, and then just cuento, 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 story, yeah, <laughs> just you know. Okay, uh, let's try it. Okay, and ready, one, two, and three, cheers. cheers. Okay, put it down. Uh, okay, let's do that again. So uh, cheers, put it down, and look to your neighbor and uh, just talk to each other about random stuff. Anything you can just count one to twenty if you want. So, okay, uh, three, two, one, go, Cheers. and put it down. <laughs> all right, nice. That's it. That's all I need. Now let's go to Kiwanis, guys. Um, yeah, you need to arrive there first because we will position you. So, yeah, and then the parking. <coughs> okay. All right. Let's go there. Usually, the first spot that you stop by, that's not the best spot <laughs> to do it. Oh, right here is perfect, actually, Dita. So while they're doing their creative shots over there, um, I want to set up and make sure everything is covered for the first look, and we are kind of. Um, short on time here so we gotta well it's always the story in most weddings so we gotta just make the best out of it and do what we gotta do and the most important thing is we have some free time for ourselves to set up at the church because setting up in there could be tricky um, especially if it's your first time in a particular church luckily for us we've shot there a few times now and we know the the uh, the priest and the sound tech which we will approach later on Dito. Para alam ko yung Tapos pag umikot ka, clockwise ah. Oh, clockwise. And then once you see here. Ah, dito na lang muna tayo, gentlemen. Yeah. So once she taps you at the back, you okay for that? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So turn clockwise. Um just say how much you adore her, check her dress. I mean, check her out, you know. So All right. Magkikita ba sila? Yeah, my first look. Eh. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, um, for this part, we, we I would like to ask you to be quiet. But you can take pictures and everything. But just uh, uh okay, Isa. Uh, please approach now. So we gotta instruct the bride where to position herself. We gotta position her first to make this scene perfect. So, so please join the the gentleman there. You can take pictures and videos if you want. Just yeah. we have to be quiet for this particular okay. one. Okay, Isa. From here, I'll give you the cue and then approach. Okay. okay let's just fix your dress first. Okay, ka lang bang maglakad with the dress? Like, okay. Uh, Okay. And you ready? Bahar. Yes, baby. Stop crying, yes, yeah, baby. You like it? You <laughs> can't Stop! Don't cry! <laughs> Wait, I'm just to. It's okay, it's Gunta. just me! Gunta. <laughs> oh my god, you're actually crying! <laughs> there we go, just let them keep talking to each other until they're ready for the next step. You guys ready? Okay. So, so ladies, uh, bouquet is higher than the bride's head, please. Yeah. And cheers to the bride and groom. Okay. Girls, you can just play with your bouquets like this. Yeah. Best man. Tapos Isa and uh, Carlo, Fa bodies facing each other, then kayo. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then faces looking over here. Yeah. 
So this is my job when when she's taking the lead uh, for photography. I'm gonna help directing so that this thing will all flow smoothly. <laughs> because I'll have my turn when she's done with all these stuff because these are all statics. I, I want moving shots and I'll direct them to do what I want later on when she's done with it. At the count of three, let's just do the woohoo thing, okay? Uh, yeah, everyone, everyone. And go! Yes! Groomsmen shots. Uh, it's just simple walking shots. Lang naman eh. So what we're gonna do is... Uh, hold on. Like I said, just walking. Uh, groom, you just form one line. Because I'll need you to be talking to each other. Or just pretend. And just keep walking this way until I say stop, alright? And go for it, guys. Work. Just keep going, yeah. So, gotta get another angle as well. Just keep going. Okay, now story stuff. Um, could you guys tell me about when Carlo and Isa first met? Uh, move in closer, guys. Who knows about the story, how it happened? Paano mo niligawan si Isa? Hindi, oh. paano, paano niya ako niligawan? Saan ako niligawan? Tanongin mo naman ngayon kung paano siya nag-propose kay Isa. Paano ka nag-propose? Par? Par? Let's do that again, let's do that again. Ah, sige. <laughs> sige, okay lang, okay lang. Hindi. Okay lang, okay lang, informal tayo. Ah, paano kayo nag-propose? Par? <laughs> <laughs> Punta kami dun sa ano, Tiffin Baker Park. Eh, tapos yun, kunyari, naglalaro lang ako ng drone, yeah, tapos biglang, biglang luhod. Sino yung kasama dun? Uh, our work is story-based, so uh, the one way we can do it is to ask questions. Uh, I mean, prompt some of the guys to ask questions, and then the groom will answer, and then he will just open up, tell stories about how they met, just like what we did, how he proposed. And that just adds to the love story element of the wedding, and how it makes this thing unique. So, now let's move to the bride. Um, stay in the same line, yeah? Yeah, great, just one, one line. Um, you can bring your bouquets down. Oh, you know what? That's fine, like that. Uh, yeah, just right across your chest. And then, as you walk, look at your neighbor, left to right, talk, or pretend talking, and then giggles from time to time. Okay, and whenever you're ready, one, two, three, let's do it. Graduation. I'm saying graduation. You're married. Oh, thank you. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. That's, I thought that's what he said. Your graduates from being single, I guess that's what he meant. You don't have any problems with the heels on this part of the... Okay. Yeah, with your right hand. And then with the left hand, hold your hands with the bouquet. And then bring the bouquet closer to your body, Isa. Uh, tilt mo forward yung flowers, kind of like that. Yeah. That's it. You can lean your head on his uh, chest, uh, Isa. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. Kiss her forehead, Carlo. And then look at him. Smile. Look at him. And lay your head back on his chest. Carlo, you can grab her by the waist. Turn around, grab her hands, face each other, smile, moving closer, almost going for a kiss, almost, almost. Yeah, you can tease her if you want. Yeah. Okay, fix her hair. Uh, on this side, on this side. Grab her by the waist again, Isa, hands on his shoulders. Yeah, that's right. 
faces closer a little bit more yeah that's right so it's good to shoot them backlit because it's a very nice rim light right there okay um when you're ready go okay slowly just smiles and just keep going keep going yep doing great you guys doing great and stop right there hold each other by the hands stare at each other be in love easiest thing we could ask for right yeah and go for a smooch yeah just kidding but uh, <laughs> oh before we i know before i forget dun sa church mama yaisa you in particular um, di ba may part dun sa front nung ano, parang baptism, baptism okay. well nila. Uh, just stop there okay. for a good 10 seconds. Okay. And 10 seconds to you might feel like 3 seconds actually. Kasi you might be tense yeah. at that point. So maybe count in, in your head na lang. Smile, stare at him. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, tingin na lang. Huwag ka titingin sa baba, both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't look down. Real thugs know what they're doing. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so the first thing we do uh, when you get inside the ceremony area is to set up your audio and we have a sound guy here in the church luckily and his name is Jim so let's go do that <coughs> hi Jim uh, it's me again Mike here um, I'm just gonna tap into your <coughs> board again thank you <coughs> so XLR right is there somewhere I can plug in? Uh, right there, yeah. You're not gonna need that for anything later? Okay. No, we're good. Okay, thank you. So, he's really nice and he always anticipates that um, somebody will need to plug into his board, so that's really awesome. And we've worked with him so many times now and he never gave us any problem. I'm just going to position it here so it's easier for me to reach when I have to check my levels. Now, before the wedding starts, I would press record now and uh, not worry about going back here to hit record once everything starts because I won't have time later to do that. And um, it's just easier to do it that way. Because I, I may have a ton of audio that I don't need, but it's easier to have everything in here than hit record late and not, I mean, miss something. Okay, so we just have to check the levels here. Make sure we have a good signal. So that's the thing. One less thing to worry about. Uh, once your audio is set up, we have our mics on the bride and groom, so we can still hear them quite well when they're doing their um, their vows and their declaration of intention. And if they have some sound bites uh, in the middle of the ceremony, we can capture that as well. So now it's time to set up the camera, and we'll just do that now. So we have two ceremony cams. So these are the GH5Ss. Um, they are micro four thirds cameras, and usually I have them. Uh, I have the 75mm 1.8 on them just so we can uh, just punch in a little bit more with the telephoto. This is 150mm equivalent uh, on full frame. So it's going to reach quite a bit. So we're going to position them right here. So it's good to position the main cam here at the center of the aisle just so we can capture the bride approaching the altar. Turn them on, be on standby. Because as a solo shooter, you don't want to worry about startup times and all that. So <clears throat> you gotta set everything up as early as you can. Set your white balance. I'm gonna rock daylight here for now. Okay, 2.8, that's good. <clears throat> now this one right here is our groom reaction angle. And I typically like to position it here, on the left side of the, the altar. OK, 
because he's going to be positioned on the uh, right side of the altar. So we're, this camera is on the left side of the altar. So remember a while ago, we mentioned about this. We have radio, so now we have in, uh, in ears just so we don't disrupt when we need to communicate to one another. So I'm just gonna keep it here with me. So if I need the photographer, say for example, she's blocking my shot, I can just radio her without actually yelling at her while the ceremony is happening. So of course, I'll secure this. Everyone in the team has it. Anna has it, she's the second shooter for the photos. Uh, Dave here uh, with the BTS cam, it's also gonna help me. Uh, reposition the camera later because um, they're pretty strict here so what happens in this church in particular is that once everybody is uh, seated they don't want you to be moving around and uh, we have to respect that so uh, when everybody's seated I want Dave to man that yeah excuse me yeah. what's up um, what do you mean I think see Kate is out there okay yeah and then see Anna she's the second shooter and we're on the radio. Are you on your radio this time? No, okay. It's okay. Um, anyway, maybe just tap one of them on the shoulder and have them communicate what you need us to do inside. Ano lang? ko lang nang help ng open ang door. Oh, okay. Maybe she can help. Si Ana na lang siguro. Kasi she, Kate will be uh, in front of the altar. Sa harap. Yeah, on the front. Ana can help. You okay with that? Sure, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Anything else, Leanne? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, the coordinator doesn't have her radio, but if she needs us to do anything, she can uh, tell one of our shooters, and then she will just radio us in. And it's pretty clutch when you communicate with your team members instead of ex expecting them to like or hoping that they sh they will look on their phones at some point, just to reframe maybe the camera or something like that, reposition the camera or adjust your exposure, or whatever. Yeah, so they come in pretty clutch. So you're a videographer, it's a must have. Hmm? No, no, no. It's the BTS. Oh. Oh, yeah, one thing is you have to do your com checks. Make sure you're all on the same channel. Com check, com check. Com check, guys. Okay. Dave, you got me? Okay. He's giving me the thumbs up, so. Let's go. <clears throat> so, okay, so if you want to point the camera there. So that's how our cameras are positioned. So if you can see the tripod there on the left, that's going to be our groom reaction camera. And then the one that I will man later on, uh, it's right in front of this guy. So um, yeah, it's at the center of the aisle and I'm going to man that. Okay, I think they're about to start. So I'm going to man the main cam now. I'll have it on standby over here just so if I want to have a center frame uh, type of shot <clears throat> I can just pick it up and there's also another one here for handheld it's just on standby the whole time I didn't bring my gimbal because I'm trying to move away from it so make sure you hit record so you only have to worry about reframing your shot later now the big problem here is that it's mixed light so inside is tungsten and outside it's gonna look blue and the exposure difference is so wide that the dynamic range of this camera doesn't really capture it very well but <clears throat> it is what it is <clears throat> just expose where the skin tones and you'll be fine you can step in if you want <clears throat> I'm on telly
Ana, stay down, stay down. Okay, come through, come through. Get inside, go, go, go. Dave, let's switch camps. Stand by. Okay, here we go. Frame them on the center, bro. Thank you. We just finished the ceremony here, so that was an hour, 20 minutes. Uh, that's very common in Catholic Church ceremonies. So they're just doing a photo session here and over there, Kate's right there. Um, she's just doing the post-ceremony uh, portrait session now. Um, after that, they're gonna do their uh, private vows. They have prepared their private vows and they're gonna do it at the altar. And um, Father Gerard and the rest of the team here at Holy Family Church is gracious enough to let us do that. So we're going to do that right after they're done with this. So um, same setup, we're going to use two GH5Ss with the 75mm uh, Olympus. Um, they're going to be tight, So, but this time there's going to be three uh, cameras. So one with my good old GH5, I'm just going to be handheld on this one because the stabilization is just so good. Uh, paired with a 12-35mm to Lumix 2.8. Um, yeah, and we're going to do that later there, I'm going to show you the setup. So. Uh, Basically, it's going to be one frame to the groom, one frame to the bride, and then one uh, center shot. So, yeah, you're going to see what it looks like in the edit. Okay. So it's not very often that brides hire a performer for their music. Um, in Catholic Church weddings. So Isa hired uh, the violinist and the pianist to play music for the processional and the recessional. So it's just something that you should probably think about including in your edit. Uh, it's just nice to have even if you don't need it. Um, just in case you uh, run out of b-roll, that's something you can insert for the ceremony. So these will be our cameras for the personal vows. Just gonna set it up. BTS for IG. Carlo? Kamay. Sa kamay, sa kamay. Yeah. Tilt nyo pa forward yung bouquet konti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapos pag dikitin yung head niyo konti, konting ganun lang. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I-position muna natin sila. Para ma-frame up. Okay na? Okay. And guys, go for it. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving. It's giving. Sa wakas, natupad din yung isa sa mga pangarap ko, yung ikasal sa pinakamagandang babae. <laughs> Yeah. 
So the thing is we have two torch LEDs here. The one is pretty, actually is strong enough. So we can point the other light towards the performer over there. And the thing about these is that they're so easy to use and they're light so it's very uh, very useful for for times when you need fast solutions so whenever you encounter low light you don't have to rely on your camera all the time bring lights that's the best solution for low light so. yes what's up okay so the good things about the Olympus Prime lenses are that um, they're actually 1.2 so in low light conditions like these it's gonna be really dark and the 1.2 aperture comes in really clutch um, the other thing is that well, while they're micro four thirds I know there's some concern in the community about that and that um, it's actually like 2.4 but that's the depth of field okay so the depth of field might be equivalent to 2.4 but the light transmission is still uh, 1.2 so it's still gonna be really bright so in low light situations like this it's easy plus the manual focus clutch is really nice to use because in low light situations autofocus uh, even for Canon tends to struggle a little bit because the light is dark I mean the the lighting in general it's dark so the other thing is that don't shoot with the light, shoot on the opposite side of the light. So the other important thing about lighting is that uh, you have to match the color settings here, the temperature. So mostly indoors uh, we do tungsten just so your colors doesn't look bad um, because if it's daylight and it's tungsten on the background it's gonna look so orange and uh, it's gonna look really bad and vice versa and it's hard to fix in post that's the most important thing to keep in mind so the other thing about GH5s <coughs> is the X-Tele converter feature so basically you can punch in even closer and have a tighter shot so the shot for the guitarist simply lang. And you have to be aware of your surroundings too. Like, see if you find some good reaction shots, do it, people doing interesting things, and you have time to snap, do it. It's good for B-roll. So this is kind of an unusual setup because they're having supper here and the actual reception with the program will start in a different uh, location which is at Hayloft. So we'll have to go there, tear down whatever we have set up here and reset again over there and we have to find out what, um, what challenges we may have for uh, setting up there like if they have sound system that we can tap into with our audio because we know for sure that they're going to do uh, song numbers, dance performances, and of course speeches and that's the part where most videographers must own and um, because like most videographers base their storylines in there in the speeches because that's where people tell stories about the bride and groom, how they met and maybe give them some pieces of advice about marriage and stuff like that so we gotta own that part because that's the core of our story um, traditionally so yeah we're headed there uh, in a little bit just need a few more shots here and then uh, we're gonna wrap up so. okay um we'll turn off the lights now we'll head over there Thank you, oh, you. So sorry <laughs> don't worry about it yes very few people do this in the night i'll probably need the light closer um, from that position uh, i mean towards this position approach each other um, grab her by the waist and then arms sa ibabaw um, you know what switch na lang kayo kasi yung ring mo para makita natin dito para kumislap kislap ng konti siya um, so dito sa gitna and then um, just uh, we're just gonna do some slow dance you know stuff like that 
Okay guys, and let's do it, approach. Smile at each other, just sway, dance, feel the moment. And okay, kind of spin around as you dance, yeah. So just eyes locked at each other guys, looking really good. Pause right there, and bodies closer to each other. And fix her hair. Dito sa side ko bro. Yan, yan. And then go for a little smooch there. Now we can do this. Yes, yes, yes. Hold it in, hold it in. And then when you release, keep looking at each other and go. One more time. And go for a smooch. And release. Keep looking at each other. Fantastic. Uh, spin her. Spin her around. Yes, yes, yes. One more time, the other way. Yes. So we're just waiting for them to come in. So we've set up the lights here. There's one outside, and then there's one over there. So three lights. Nakapokus dapat ate. Dito naman sila sa gitna. <laughs> Let's just check the bride and groom. <clears throat> okay lang kayo dyan guys. <laughs> They're just doing some ano, um, adjustments dun sa audio. Yeah. Just want to keep them updated just so they know what's going on inside and so they're not gonna get you know anxious so we do have two lights like i said so there's one over there by the piano so it's an aperture uh, 60x it's very good it's got a far uh, throw because it's fresnel it's focusable and then there's one outside here which we're gonna use as a backlight and this one right here is torch led um, we're just gonna use that to fill and it's a lightweight setup so we we can use that and move it around if we need to uh, because like if you give them instructions you do your best uh, sometimes people tend to like just move around from the spot that you direct them to use so this one is pretty easy to adjust and it's very like it's technical or mobile spot so that's basically it this makes our job easier so. And if you can see, it's really a bit crowded in here because of the small space, but uh, yeah, it's going to be tight, but we'll try to squeeze ourselves in when we need to adjust because there's a few cameras set up all around. Uh, but yeah, we'll do our best. So. Let's go, we're just waiting now. It's a waiting game. So a GH5, just a regular GH5, not really a problem for low light because we're lighting our stuff. That's basically why. So, um, yeah. So we're just waiting. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to announce the newlyweds. Let's all give a hand for Mr. and Mrs. Carlo Mendoza. I'll be like in and out po dito. <laughs> so I'm talking to my mom to change outfits. Yeah, you look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. There you go. So if you're a solo shooter, you gotta make sure things are in focus. All the time. <laughs> and I think we can move this. So they're gonna do their first dance now. Okay, let's back this up.
Um, although we've only been able to see each other a handful of times, each time felt so natural. But maybe because it's, we're a long lost since Not only in a relationship with Carlo, but also with us. But sorry, Carlo, it's Santiago's against you, so <laughs> there's many more than us. <laughs>